Welcome to Honey Bee's Hive. I'm Honey Bee, just in case you didn't know. So, I'm sitting here getting off work. And, well, I was late this morning. So, I am late getting my coffee, so I'm about to do that right now. I've been trying to, um, I tried to, um, go off the coffee a little bit yeah I started having um what's that called um what is that called the addictives add addicts do when withdrawals I started having withdrawals it was, it was serious too um my I started getting headaches. I got nauseous. I just got real sick. And let me tell you something. I had one cup of coffee. <laughs> As I realized, I'm on too much coffee. <laughs> I am on way too much coffee. But anyway, I just came on here because I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking about Halloween because it's Halloween, right? So I'm sitting up here thinking to myself that... You know, oh, I forgot to say. So, if you guys have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Um, make sure that you're getting your notifications so when new videos are coming out. Also, go ahead and hit that like button. And share the video because sharing is caring, right? Right. So what am I doing? Oh, not much. I am sitting here and I'm thinking about Halloween and this foolishness, right? I'm like, you know what? I don't know if we're going to get any trick-or-treaters this year or not. It's kind of cold out there, but, you know, who knows? And I was thinking, you know, maybe I should get dressed up. And I'm like, I'm too old for this. I am not getting dressed up for Halloween, you know? There comes a time in your life where you just gotta, you know, you gotta grow up. And here I am, I'm about to be 50 years old. How do I look getting dressed up for Halloween, huh? What kind of mess is that, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I said, I'm just getting too old for this, so. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna not do we're going to leave the Halloween and the dressing up to the young people. Because, you know, you got to act your age. You can't be 50 years old still getting dressed up for Halloween. What kind of mess is that? Right? Yeah, right. So what are you guys doing today? Huh? How many of y'all got small children and y'all are taking them trick-or-treating? Have you already taken them trick-or-treating? Because I know I'm behind several hours here. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me see. I'm trying to do some things over here and I'm getting all kinds of. Nope, nope, not doing that one. Oh, yeah, this is the part. Let's get my, my eyeliner on.
Okay, so. Hi. All right, so like I was saying, I just, you know, I'm a... I'm almost 50 years old. I just don't have time for, you know, foolishness like Halloween. I I, I just don't, okay? I'm not going to be dressing up. I'm not going to be doing all of that. It's just, I'm going to leave it to the young people. And um, I'm just going to probably, I don't know, make me some tea. Um, sit around and crochet me a hat or something pay some bills yeah that's what I'm gonna do what are you gonna do Cool, that was Cookie Monster and a spooky guy. I am doing my little man's hair, getting ready to just get done for the day. How was everyone's Halloween? Let's see. I had quite a few trick-or-treaters, a lot more than I had. Um, I had expected. Honestly, I was not expecting that many, so I am very happy. I think it was a really good turnout. Um, I did record some of them, uh, my, my rush, I had an early rush and those I did not get recorded. My younger ones all came early and then after that, I had a few more that came 
and during the time I pretty much the kids weren't home yet so I was here by myself so I had um, I worked on Rowan's hair since I am still rooting her hair so I worked on that and I have plenty of time I got a little bit done I want to go and get some more done so I'll probably go work on her hair again uh, some more in a little bit here um I put on a little man suit today. I did that while I was sitting over there as well. Um, just waiting on the trick-or-treaters and waiting on my kiddos to get home. Uh, my daughter made it home and we went out and we took some pictures after she got off of work. Uh, it warmed up a little bit. It was probably, I don't know what the weather was today, but by the time they all got home, my kiddos got home, which was at night. Um like about now it's about 27 degrees so they all got here about i don't know about after eight about nine close to nine and around that time it's about um 27 degrees so it warmed up a little bit um yesterday was extremely cold um so that's good you know uh because i was kind of i was thinking it was going to be like it was yesterday and i was like well I don't know if we're going to get anyone out, but yeah, we got quite a few out. Um, I was surprised. A lot of them were, you know, driving in the cars. There were some walking. I doubt if they walked far. I'm sure they probably like parked a little bit and then walked. But um, yeah, it was nice. It was a really nice little Halloween. We, um, had the nightmare before christmas thing going on so uh, a couple of people stop and take pictures oh it's my little man oh you guys want to see him let me show you so here's Deshaun and his little pumpkin outfit there we go isn't he adorable isn't he just adorable and i got olaf here right here Olaf was not his original name. His name was Olaf, I believe. And then my daughter kept calling him Olaf and my son too. So he ended up being Olaf. So he was reweighted and he is a lovely little size right now. I have just been cuddling on him. Oh my goodness. He's wearing the nightmare before nap time. So he's wearing his little jack outfit. Looking all cute. But yeah. These are my little men. Oh, they're so precious. Look at them. My little man. So, but yeah, I just wanted to say happy Halloween, everybody. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, hope everyone took time, have a good time, took time for themselves, took time for their family members, um, took time for your dollies. Uh, so I am going to sit here and snuggle on these two guys because don't they just look so snuggly wuggly? Look at them. So I did reweigh them. Oh, I didn't show you what I did with his body. Let me show you real quick. I know, Booba. So I'm going to set Deshaun down right here. Oh my goodness. And I am going to show you the adjustments that I did with. There you go. With my Olaf. So this little guy, first off, he was very, he was, I had overstuffed him. And then, so I had went into, um, I had went in to, to take some of his stuff, take some of the weight out of him because he was too heavy for me. So I did take out a couple of being, a couple of bags of weight. But when I was doing that, I decided, um, his body, I wanted him, his body to be a little, I felt he needed more stomach here. So I added the piece right here for the stomach. I also, I don't think I did anything else. I think that was the, the thing that I did. So I added a strip right here in his body so that he would have um, more, more belly. And I love it because... Now when I sit him up, he's a little booty, little effort. 
a little extra tall like me. <laughs> but he's cute with his. <laughs> so I did that and I, he is just so cuddly wuddly now. So I know I just took your little undressed you in front of the camera in front of everyone so they could see. But they just want to see the body. Yes, they do. So yeah, I want to show y'all that. But yeah, that's one little adjustment and I'll show you the difference. I don't have a shot before because I know he was like, I don't know, his body was too like, uh, too in shape, too just, you know, no, no baby. There, see, now look, he's got like, he's just a chunky booby baby. Here you go. He looks like a little chunky baby. So... I love him now because I have just been snuggling and cuddling him. Yes, I have. This is my little sleeping Joseph sculpt. Yeah. So anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. I love you. Toodles. Peace.